student meteorologist Tyler Simpson. The big news in the weather world, the National Weather Service confirmed a microburst in the town of Wareham on Tuesday night. This uh, picture in the background is actually the National Weather Service uh, Taunton. It's uh, where it's a uh, picture that I took when I went there uh, during the Blue Weather Observatory uh, workshop. And essentially, a, um, a lot of people get um, microbursts are essentially inverted tornadoes, if you can uh, picture that, where a normal uh, tornado rotation is like this. A uh, microburst actually has this sort of rotation in the uh, atmosphere, so it never actually touches the ground, but it is cool to see on um, radar. And taking a look at the residual effects from Sandy, we're almost down uh, to uh, 1,000 power outages, below 1,000 power outages right now in Massachusetts, according to NSTAR. So most of the power should be restored uh, by the end of the day today. Currently, we're looking at 44 in Millis with the dew point of 44 as well. The wind non-existent. The background image is a uh, image from hazecam.net. This is uh, from the city of Boston. It was taken at 8.45 a.m. You'll notice those high clouds. Um, those are going to be the prominent feature throughout the day. And you can see those high clouds on the, rate, on the uh, combined satellite and radar right now. And you'll notice a few showers off uh, towards New York. And uh, residual effects from Sandy are uh, what's causing these snow showers up in northern Canada. Taking a look closer into our area, just a little batch of rain, not really expecting it to uh, come up and affect us. The main thing that's going to affect us today are these clouds that will be persistent throughout the day. And current temperatures in Boston in the 40s in Boston, mid-30s out towards New York, 60s out in Miami, and the warm spot this morning is uh, the Texas coast. And taking a look at the current uh, surface, uh, um, surface analysis, You'll notice Sandy's way up here, but it's pulling out by the next time I do my forecast. I don't think it's even going to be um, a feature on the uh, surface map. So um, Sandy is kind of uh, losing most of its strength. In fact, right now it's down to 35 mile an hour sustained winds at this point. Taking a look at predicted high temperatures for today, I'm looking at 60 in Boston, um, lower 80s out towards Florida, Texas coast. Once again, the warm spot for today in the upper 80s. And taking a look at your football forecast, I'm thinking it's going to be dry with clouds uh, and temperatures in the lower 40s. And the winds will be very light out of the north northwest. And the weekend forecast, mostly sunny. I can't roll out a spot shower. Some of the models are indicating there may be a spot shower here and there. I'm not really expecting it, but don't be surprised. Don't let you catch it off guard. It'll only be light and won't impact your plans at all. Highs around 50. And remember to turn those clocks back Saturday night, 2 a.m. Turn those clocks back. Also make sure to check any fire detectors um, for check, you know, um, change their batteries. In the background I have a St. Thomas Church. Uh, the, the, uh, there will be kids uh, getting their confirmation this weekend, so that's exciting for them. Uh, certainly better weather than I had last year with my confirmation. I had a uh, snowstorm and uh, there was no power in the church, so a lot better this year. And looking ahead, temperatures in the 50s through Saturdays through Saturday. Next week, high temperatures will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. I'm still watching a coastal storm for next Wednesday into Thursday. Now, this storm may have some impact on the area that was devastated by Hurricane Sandy. It'll turn up the seas and uh, just not the thing that you want to deal with when uh, the power is out and it'll also be cold. So this is just going to exacerbate um, the problems that were caused by Sandy. There is a chance for some snow out in the mountains of uh, northern New England. I think we could even uh, see a few flakes, but I'm really not expecting that. That'd be at the very end of the storm, if any, but uh, that cold air will be uh, following the storm. Thanks for joining us. I'm student meteorologist Tyler Simpson. Remember, you can always find the latest weather information by going to my Facebook page, Tyler Simpson-MHS 103 Weather.